guys, it's Brie. Welcome to A Dose of Reality. It's Wednesday, so you all know what that means. It is Wisdom Wednesday, so I'm going to be throwing some wisdom your way. So today's Wisdom Wednesday video, I kind of hyped up last week and then I didn't get to do it. That's no bueno on my part. I brought it back, guys. I told you I would find a way. So I'm doing my Wisdom Wednesday video on the topic of indie lotions. Now, I could probably turn this into like a three hour lecture. I'm not gonna do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this down into two parts. The first part is just going over all the different types of lotions because good Lord, did I not realize how many different types of lotions there were. I have this weird wonky shadow going on. I'm gonna move this light just a little bit. All right, better. Um, so, and my phone is blowing up over here. Sorry guys. We got a lot of noise going on. I got the washer going on. Just ignore all that. Um, so I'm going to break it down for you in this video. And then next week's Wisdom Wednesday is going to be going into the different brands that have each different type. So I may even have to break it down and do each individual subcategory as their own video to give you like a review on brands. So bear with me. I'm just going to jump in now and start reviewing. So the general category, and yes, I have notes on my handy dandy clipboard, which is from Whistle Work Box, if you guys remember that one. So, lotions. Um, a lotion is just anything that is a lighter consistency, it has a low oil content, it is a non lubricating substance, and it accommodates all skin types. Um, and it's used to preserve the moisture that is already within your skin. So it's really good for you, especially if you have like an oily type skin, it's going to not break you out, things like that. So lotions in general are good for pretty much everybody. Um, I've grabbed some stuff here just to give you, like I said, I'm not showing you everything, but this is from Ambrojac. It's an example, a good example of something that is just a general lotion. So not anything else that's on this list. Body butters. So body butters are a thicker formula, thicker consistency. They contain, obviously, butters of some kind, usually shea butters, which are what I cannot use, or cocoa butters, mango butters, anything like that. They also contain oils. Usually no water in a body butter and no preservatives. Similar in formula to a whipped cream in that they're both thick but a whipped cream contains water and a preservative, um, which is an emulsifying agent in this case, like a beeswax or that lovely wax that I can never pronounce that Donna likes to make fun of me for. So um, I grabbed some here. I have body butter and this is potion dust body butter. And then I did grab the little sample that I had of FCS rule 47 that they sent me um and this is the whipped cream now in doing my research for this there is no actual like guideline that states you have to call it a body butter or a whipped cream or a lotion it's all based on the texture and the consistency but the individual maker can call it whatever they want so it's up to the consumer to kind of read the product description and the ingredients and determine for themselves what they're really purchasing. So that's just a little piece of info for you in case you didn't know. So the next couple things I have here are spray lotion. That is just a lotion in spray form. It's typically just an easier application. It's a little bit thicker than your regular lotion would be, but it's easier to apply. And I have an example of that. This is Nature's Art Lotion Potion or Body Potion Lotion Spray. Sorry, tongue tied. Um, but this is just one of the spray lotions. And then a hydrating body spray, which is similar, but again, compare the ingredients to tell what is different. The hydrating body spray is an oil that is emulsified into water that provides a light hydration. And then there's usually an oil in with that that then locks the moisture into your skin. So other brands have it too, but I just grabbed the FCS. This is their Hydrate Me. It's a hydrating body spray. So you have to, again, compare 
the ingredients to figure out which is which because sometimes you don't necessarily know based on description what you're getting. So if it has an oil emulsified into water, it's the hydrating body spray. If it has the same ingredients that a lotion would have, then it's a spray lotion. And the last thing I have, and I don't have an example of it because I didn't really want to show mine on camera because it's kind of icky looking because I've been using it, is a lotion bar. Lotion bar is just a solid moisturizing bar. It kind of resembles soap, but it is a moisturizing bar of lotion. It's activated by body heat, and I have done videos on this before. I can link those in the description bar if you want to see them, but you just, you can use them on any part of your body. They contain butters and waxes and oils to help moisturize your body. So you would just take it and run it across your body. It will melt with your body heat and moisturize everything. Keep it nice and obviously moisturize. How many times can I say moisturize in one video? Maybe I'll have a counter. Probably not though. That takes too much work. So that is everything that I have for you guys. Like I said, there will be a part two to this and I will go down and show you the different types and different brands and I will review for you each of them and their formulas and what I like about them, what I don't like about them. So you guys can try them out for yourselves. So if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, never miss a dose of reality ever again. Find me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm Brie51687. I would love to interact with you in those ways. Um, thank you so much for watching. I know I don't thank you guys enough, but I really do appreciate you guys watching and I will be back to make another video very soon. Bye.